I'm going to go over some tips and slide suggestions for the MA thesis presentation at the Oral Defense for Masters of Arts students in the Faculty of Education. Now this presentation is a maximum of 20 minutes long. That's fixed. There is no wavering. Boom, hits 20 minutes, we cut you off. I would add that Please do not fill your slides with lots and lots of text. That's very hard for people watching, and you should be including visuals. You can have your notes beside you, and that's really easy if you're doing this in Adobe Connect, and a lot of people do. Uh, so you don't need to put them up on the screen. Um, so, what are the slide suggestions? Well, you obviously have to have a title slide, and that would be the title of your thesis and your name. I would suggest then a big picture slide. Why is your study important or relevant? This will capture the audience's attention. You want to make a case for that, but you want to make a case in three points, no more than three points, with limited text and visuals. So you need to know what you're talking about and you need to make the points clear, make it logical. You're hooking the audience into your topic. All right, the one that I know that you know so much about, but that others don't. So have some sympathy for them and lure them into your topic. Then you briefly discuss your literature review. Four points maximum, one slide only. I know you know a lot about your topic and you know all the nuances and the details. But again, you're presenting not only to the reviewers who have already read this, so they don't need to know all the details. They know the details, but to a lay audience who are just interested in finding out about your topic. So cover the key points in the literature review that you found. Then point out the gaps. Again, three to four points max. Your thesis is about these gaps, isn't it? You're filling in something that hasn't been looked at before. That will lead into slide five, which is your research question or questions. Just clearly have them. That would be have to be a slide that has lots of text on it. <laughs> I don't think you want to play a, a visuals game here with that. You just want to have your clear questions. And then you are going to have a method slide. And I would suggest having a big visual, uh, some sort of a mind map kind of thing on a slide. And you would introduce the method as, this is the method I chose to evaluate these research questions, okay? And then, so that's one slide, and then you have your results. It's a little hard to have the results all on one slide. So I would suggest to have uh, no more than two slides per question, preferably one if you can do it. And you might include some juicy quotes in there to grab people's attention but not to take over the results. It just depends on the kind of study you have. But you want to address the research questions and, and say, here are the answers that I found. Um, then you would have your conclusions. One slide only, the take home. They say three things. So what are three things that people are gonna take home from this presentation? And then you're going to end with your limitations. That's important for you to identify key limitations, but with an eye towards future research. I, you might say, I didn't look at this. I didn't use this method. And I think maybe focus group, for example, would really help in future research in this topic so that we could find more information about what I was looking at. All right, so that's nine slides. You have 20 minutes, two minutes per slide. That's going to change a bit because you're not going to spend two minutes on your title. You might spend uh, a minute on your big picture and maybe two minutes on your literature review, two minutes on your gap. You can read your research questions in, in, in one minute max. Method, you might have to explain a little bit more. Uh, you might actually use a visual, I'm just thinking too, in your literature review. That would be great. So these kind of mind map things work really well. I think they're very useful and 
think visuals when you're doing this. Visuals that um, maybe coordinated visuals. Um, the big picture could also be that sort of coordinated picture with these sort of clouds or I'm sure you'll have uh, many more good ideas than I would, but you want to have that visual component. Okay, so that's the MA thesis presentation.